Hey everyone, welcome to the YouTube video. Before the video starts, um, I'm got some happy news. Uh, I am now a monetized on YouTube. Uh, thanks to YouTube changing its monetization policies to allow, I think it's 24, 26 countries, such as USA, South Africa, etc. Britain would be one of them. That you know, only need 3,000 hours of watch time, 500 subscribers get monetized. I was eligible and I signed up straight away, and I'm now part of the YouTube Partner Program. So, um, not only, so of course, not only you might feed adverts, maybe on this video, or etc. Um, there is a super chat feature uh, just there you can see super chat feature i'm sure we're used to it but super chat feature uh just you know where the channel is and where the like button is if you click on that you can pay me between five and 250 pounds if you like what you're seeing and your comment will be highlighted in the comment section so like i say that would just be you know if you want to like what you're seeing and you like it a lot you know like it more than just wanting to subscribe or like the channel you can also um pay me a little bit of money which Always help, doesn't it? Go through uh, contribute towards videos and all those. You know, when I go for like Ruka, that pays towards flights. But you don't have to do that. It's fine. I'm not. You know, it's fine. You don't have to pay me money. It's just saying it's there in case you wanted. And like I say, it's pretty cool, isn't it? You know, um, yeah, YouTube hunt program. Sweet. Anyway, I'm back to the point of the video, um, and this video is another awesome theme video. Uh, again, bit nitty gritty. My brother's not in this one uh, because it is just. Um, like I say, stating uh, some facts. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, of course, do subscribe, like uh, the video, and here you can check out all my other uh, autism themed videos in my autism uh, themed playlist on my uh, playlist section on my channel. Uh, so let's just straight jump straight to the video. So here are 10 signs of autism in young children. In number one, we have blank stairs. This can be quite common if you thought that. Uh, Film called Temple Grandin. That film was quite interesting, and that's all this witness did when she had autism. That is, uh, like I say, the sudden blank stares. Add that on the tin, really. Prolonged staring at walls, or indeed anything. It can not necessarily be a sign of autism, but normally it is, often than not, especially if it's for prolonged periods of time at such a young age. Because I mean, having that tense to thought young age can be signs of autism. Um, yes, because it normally means hyperfixation, which we'll get onto later. Uh, and in it number two is another big, probably one of the biggest, I think, particularly for Jake Aptil, is one of them, and that is lack of speech. Particularly if, again, like Jake, I'm three years younger than him. When I was, I think, two and he was five, um, I had more speech than he had, so this is the big thing. That lack of speech is a big sign of um, uh, autism. It can't just mean generally developmental delay, not I mean, again, probably a big thing I should mention. Not I don't use this list to like directly diagnose a child for autism, I'm not. Both of that are also professional, but this is just symptoms you might see. So yeah, two, lack of speech is definitely a big one you do see with people with autism. Um, especially at a young age, I mean, at, 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 you know, an 18 year old, 19 year old, of course that would be spotted quite, quite uh, quickly as autism, but of course at a young age, it is harder to tell. But you know, if your child is reaching three, four, five, so any speech, or any speech at all even, probably a sign of autism. And Three, this is and then number three we have constantly repeating words and noises. Oh, I haven't got any energy for this video, I'm speaking so dully. Anyway, constantly repeating words or noises is again a big sign of autism because especially at a young age, when you want you want humans want to learn words, they want to learn speech, that's how all, um, any human is. So particularly for when it comes to someone with autism, really high low, uh, moderately high, low severe, whatever. Um, constantly repeating new words or even noises that they hear a big sign of autism because not only is it good in a way because it does show um, developmental speech progression, progression it can also be of course sign of autism because if they're constantly repeating that words and phrase or noise repeatedly it's only a sign of autism typically at a young age. In number four I mean you can't really beat it really most people with autism has it or Asperger's number four and that is uh, interest special interest I mean, if at the age of like three or four, they're already really interested in trains or cars or music, and they know so much about it already, and they can pick it up very quickly, this is common sign of autism because some of their brains are absolutely incredible, as we know, and as we all should know, so, uh, autistic brains are incredible, and typically one of the, some of the smartest people in the world, such as Nikola Tesla, he had autism, were because of these really um, sudden interest and hyperfixations. In number five is uh, this one is definitely specifically just targeted towards young children. In number five, not getting along, not fitting with other kids at school. Um, like I said, you'll probably maybe, and I know the teacher will tell you, hey, look, your son or daughter, X, Y, Z, is um, 
not getting along or not feeling other children and not playing with them and not interacting with them it's a big sign of autism because you know particularly at a young age you don't even used to being around your parents or your carers or your aunt uncle or whatever so suddenly being put in that small environment is a massive sensory and can be changed with autism that it can get hard to get used to in number six we have trouble sleeping um this is ne not necessarily a time of autism but it typically is uh, particularly at a young age and i've seen it um, on tv and documentaries and that is trouble of sleep uh, people often can have trouble with sleep. I don't know what the reasons exactly are. I'll definitely look them up myself. Again, like I say I'm definitely not professional, but trouble sleep is definitely a key element. Particularly for young children, young babies. I mean, this is the thing. Young children like to go to sleep around 8, 9. So if it's still something of autism, like in a documentary I watch, wants to get to sleep till 1am. So yeah, trouble sleeping can also be a sign of autism in young children. In at number 7, number 7, not liking change. I mean, say, I don't know, it could literally be something as small as you bought a new high chair and then you put the kid in it and they cry because it's new, it feels different, it isn't on they're used to. This is a big sign that that child might have autism because they can't cope with change and of course at a young age they can't really express or talk like that, talk their feelings like that. Like I mentioned number one, uh, sorry number two, lack of speech, you know it all piles up on the list, it all adds up to what these symptoms might be all uh, part of that, that young child having autism. Uh, in number eight we have hating certain tastes. Now this one is definitely um, particularly a child with autism people with autism because um, as, as children you're not really born fussy because you want to have more tastes. Typically children will just maybe frown at the sight of a food they don't like uh, near typical children. However autistic children this can often result in meltdowns or crying which is the key part of people with autism at such a young age, literally like 8 to you know 12 months, 8 months to a year because uh, again being autism they have it's a lot it's not for people with autism have sensory issues so of course taste the for five senses so yeah if you see them crying over and some you feel they don't like this is a big sign of autism because neurotrophic people typically do just frown and sight them because like I say babies aren't really born fussy so again this is definitely a sign of autism typically again typically and coming to of this in number nine we have hating sudden loud noises again sensory, too much noise, too much stimulation, sudden now noises they don't like. This is a kind of big problem, I mean, um, with autism it's why you might see uh, young children that would often maybe headphones or noise cancelling uh, earphones uh, when they go outside because, or even in the house, if, they have, if you have like a dog or something, uh, this can be a big thing for them because, yeah, sudden loud noises, they hate it, we did crying meltdowns, again, all signs of autism. In number 10, uh, finally, we have trouble interacting with the parent. This is a pretty big one actually, because I mean it's the parent, the you know kid parent meant to have that kind of unbreakable bond that isn't meant to be broken. However, again, people with autism they normally do see is again this kind of goes back to all the other things I've been saying, like blank stares, uh, trouble interacting with other children. Um, what you might see is if your ch uh, child with autism is that when you're trying to talk to them. Or call their name, they do not respond. Uh, counteractively, uh, they will also not call you mum or dad or they or them. They will not really acknowledge you at all as the parent role, if that makes sense. They will, you know, they'll acknowledge, oh look, they're supposed to give me food, they give me water, they're changing me, they're to give me the bath, but they won't, do you know what I mean? They won't call you mum or dad, or they won't sort of accept you as a parent sometimes, they might not. Um, sort of laugh with you, neurotypical babies would, you know, people, you know, you don't have autism, normal people, but they're already, you know, normal people because we're all different. I'm a strong believer of that. Um, so yeah, hope you found this video interesting. Like I said, I'm a professional. Definitely look up on the NHS website yourself for additional things or queries or qualms you have about if your young child might have autism. This is just a little video I wanted to make just to give you an overview of what possibly the symptoms might be. Ten signs of autism in young children. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on that YouTube video. Goodbye.